A former CPS Energy spokesman says he was targeted at work and later fired for failing to turn over private medical information to the company's security staff. To be blatantly honest, I feel like CPS Energy is very comfortable in their way of terminating people, wrongfully terminating people. Ruben Betancourt telling KSAT Investigates he was simply following the instructions of human resources and has provided the audio to prove it. In late April of last year, less than two weeks after having an emergency appendectomy, bilingual communication specialist Ruben Betancourt showed up at CPS Energy headquarters for the utility's monthly board meeting. Still feeling a little, little off, a little bad. After entering the building, Betancourt said he temporarily misplaced his security badge. Although he later found it, the small misstep would have a big impact on his brief tenure with the company. The next day, Betancourt said he was summoned back to headquarters by CPS's security operations team. They began interrogating me, asking me um, questions of like, what was going on that day? Um, you know, just different things that we thought you were suspicious. CPS officials contend they uncovered security video footage of Betancourt attempting to drive into its garage through the exit gate. The narrative you thought they were trying to build is that you showed up to work under the influence. Right, correct. Next, he says, came a request from security for Betancourt to hand over a list of all of his prescribed medications. Betancourt, who has a diagnosed mental illness, believed the demand went too far. Here is a portion of one of Betancourt's calls with security. Okay, so just to be clear and, you know, I gave you till, give me until five o'clock today to uh, provide that information. So are you just re refusing to provide it or declining? Betancourt instead contacted the company's human resources department and again recorded the conversation. You're, you're going to work with me going forward. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, perfect. I, I am, I'm going to, yeah, um, work with me. You don't provide them any information, especially you're asking for medical documentation, everything that on a medical side, um, you know, with our HIPAA laws. Betancourt says he eventually complied with the request and turned over a list of his prescribed meds to HR and the company's manager of occupational health. He also filed a complaint against the security team and was quickly placed on administrative leave. I basically felt alone um, in this corporation. I just felt like I was belittled, I was targeted. Um, nobody was there to vouch for me. Betancourt returned to work last summer after completing fitness for duty paperwork, but said he walked into a cold, hostile environment. That July, just days before completing his probationary work period, Betancourt was fired for not safeguarding his badge and for failing to cooperate with the subsequent investigation. Betancourt says he lost his medical insurance and his car and temporarily experienced homelessness. I was compliant um, to the fullest with HR and occupational health. And it's interesting because that should have been the right procedure from the get go. They shouldn't have been trying to pry this uh, medical information um, from me. For case that investigates, I'm Dylan Collier. Betancourt filed a federal disability discrimination claim against CPS Energy. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission closed it in August without making a determination on whether the company violated his rights. The EEOC instead issued a right to sue letter. To date, Betancourt has not filed suit against CPS and no legal determination has been made in connection to his claim that the company wrongfully terminated him. He said half of the attorneys he's reached out to have cited a conflict of interest in taking a case against the utility company. CPS officials declined an interview request from KSAT stating it does not comment on personnel issues. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.